This is a province of a country that simply should not exist. Before 1986, the Netherlands only had 11 provinces total. The next year, the number went up to 12. What if I told you that they didn't annex any territory or split up already existing provinces? Today I'll tell you about one of humanity's greatest achievements, the Dutch land reclamation. Flevoland in the Netherlands is about the size of Rhode Island in the United States. It holds almost 500,000 people and is almost 1,000 square miles in size. It includes a city with a population of 200,000, a lot of very fertile farming land, and nice networks of canal for irrigation. It is a very seemingly normal province until you start to look at the layouts of the cities and farms within the province. Here's a picture of Amsterdam, a normal Dutch city. It looks typically European, a mix of modern infrastructure projects and old, curving, seemingly random alleys and streets designed for a past age. However, a sister city just a few kilometers away, Elmere, has a very different look. It looks modern. It looks planned. It almost looks American. Now let's take a picture of Amsterdam off of Google Maps and compare it to Elmere. Okay, Amsterdam looks a little more twisty and turny than Elmere, so what? But then we get into Street View. Here we can see that Amsterdam looks typically European, with nothing but concrete and brick. You can see how the roads and buildings are seemingly cobbled together and updated many, many times. Now let's go over to Almir. Looks pretty normal on the map, right? Let's go into Street View. Look at all that room. Look at the modern buildings. This is even near the city center. You can clearly see planned bike paths and the amount of grass and green space that you get with a planned city characteristic of the United States. If I woke up here and I had to guess where I was, I wouldn't say the Netherlands. But why is this? Because Amsterdam is approximately 800 years old, while Almere is only about 45 years old. Why is this large city so new? Because the Dutch have created thousands of square miles of new land, and they've been doing it since the year 1300. In this graphic, you can see how much land has been reclaimed year by year. And if you haven't noticed, almost all the land, aside from Flavoland, was created from the years 1300 to 1900 without modern technology to help out. The goal with the land reclamation was to create a more arable or farmable land. The process was pretty simple. They would first start by building essentially a wall in the sea where they'd want to stop water from flowing. Next, the water would be drained. There were a few different methods of draining future land. The first, and most simple, was to let it evaporate. This was mostly done in areas where streams and or rivers didn't flow into that certain blocked off area. Another astounding method was to use windmills and other devices as pumps to pump out water back into the ocean. Yeah, pumps. In the 1300s. This would allow nutrients to be deposited in the soil so other more useful plants and crops could be grown at any time. This process could take years to complete, but almost always resulted in the appearance of completely safe and arable land. The amount of effort it took to reclaim even just a little bit of land, between building up walls, spending years planting crops, and pumping millions upon millions of liters of water back into the ocean was absolutely astounding. Imagine peasants from the 13 to 1400s creating hundreds of square kilometers of new land. You'd never guess. Seeing the before and after maps compared, the Netherlands looks like a whole new country. Lots of important cities and lands were created because of this land reclamation project. The majority of the land surrounding Amsterdam, a whole new coastline in the north, an entire new province as mentioned before, and almost the entire southwest portion of the country. Now, other countries have dabbled in land reclamation, but no other country has ever even come close to the scale of what the Dutch have done. Most other countries build up a square mile or two around a port, which is easily drainable land. But any other project pales in comparison to the amount of time, effort, and resources that were put into the reclaiming of an entire country. Flevoland alone is larger in land area than almost 30 countries and almost the size of Luxembourg. And this is where the main point is. The Dutch land reclamation is one of the most underappreciated infrastructure projects in the history of the world. Just take a look at the Wikipedia page on the topic. Plus, any articles, TV shows, or any general interest in the project anywhere else is rare to see. The Dutch land reclamation not only rivals, but beats the Great Wall of China and the Pyramids of Giza, not only in applied effort, but in results as well. To essentially prove the point, the newly created Flevoland has a GDP of 13.2 billion US dollars in 2017. That's just for one year. There's no telling how much previously reclaimed land from the 1900s and earlier has boosted the Dutch economy. It would be nearly impossible to put a price tag on Flevoland if it were to be put up for sale. And yet it seems like it is nearly never talked about. Personally, nearly all of my high school textbooks never mention a thing about the land reclamation. The exception was my AP European History book, which had a very short mention of the project, and we weren't even assigned that section as a reading. People talk about the modern and ancient wonders of the world, and I think that the reclaimed Dutch land should be included. 
It's not a building or sculpture, but it is arguably one of the top achievements of the European people and maybe the world. I think that the greatest engineering project in history, results-wise, should be taught to students in America and everywhere else along with major wars and other infrastructure construction. Overall, the Dutch land reclamation was one of the most underrated projects in history. It brought wealth, farmland, and more living space to a country already suffering from space shortages. The 700-year endeavor had the best results of almost any project of any sort in the history of the world. The terraforming of the sea into arable land is one of the best things a country could logically do, and the Dutch did so. Please like and subscribe if you agree with me. I have more similar content coming out every day.